Hello everybody, myself Dr. C. N. Patil, a medical oncologist at Apollo Hospitals, Bangalore. Today we are going to discuss something about colorectal cancers. Colorectal cancers is one of the leading cancers seen both in men and women in India. Fortunately, the incidence of colorectal cancer in India is lesser when compared to Western countries. Thanks to our dietary habits and the physical activity, and the incidence itself is lesser when compared to Western countries. And the symptoms of colorectal cancer are large bowel cancer can range from very subtle symptom like discomfort in the abdomen to very florid symptom like bleeding per rectum. So we are going to discuss about the symptoms and how to identify colorectal cancer, what are the diagnostic tests which are available with us for diagnosing colorectal cancer. The symptoms of large bowel cancer can be as subtle as vague abdominal discomfort and to bleeding per rectum. And any person who is having bleeding per rectum or unexplained anemia after the age of 40 years and not explained by other causes should raise the suspicion of colorectal cancer and they should undergo a thorough evaluation. And the symptom also could be altering bowel habits like constipation or diarrhea and it depends on the location of the tumor. If the location of the tumor is in the cecum or on the right side of the colon, the symptom could be just anemia because of continuous oozing of the blood from the tumor. And also they could have right, abdomen, right side abdominal discomfort. And if the tumor is located on the left side of the colon, that is sigmoid or rectum, they can have present with early signs like early symptoms like constipation, and they also can present with bleeding per rectum. And weight loss could be one of the symptoms of colorectal cancer in advanced stages. They also can present with loss of appetite or icterus if the disease is very advanced and has spread to the liver. They also can present with cough if it has spread to the lungs. But these are all uncommon. The most common symptoms are vague abdominal discomfort, subtle weight loss, and bleeding per rectum, and alternating bowel habits like alternating constipation and diarrhea. These are the common symptoms that we see in colorectal cancer. And suppose an individual who is above the age of 40 years and has these symptoms persisting for more than two weeks should undergo a thorough evaluation. There should be an index of suspicion uh, to suspect colorectal cancer and they should undergo a thorough evaluation. And how to diagnose colorectal cancer? Suppose a patient comes with these symptoms and which are not explained by other causes. Simple rectal examination can identify growth in the inner rectal junction or in the rectum. But if the growth is above a rectum or middle rectum or upper rectum, it is not amenable for digital examination and we need to do scopies to diagnose uh, colorectal cancer. The most commonly used tool to diagnose colorectal cancer is colonoscopy. Complete colonoscope examination is a must if there is a suspicion of colorectal cancer. By this we can directly view the growth which is if at all if it is there in the sigma colon or in the descending colon, transverse colon or a semicolon or in sigma. And if we see a tumor we take a biopsy of that and subject it for histopathological examination. That's how we diagnose the colorectal cancer. And there are serum tumor markers, otherwise called blood markers, which help in diagnosing uh, colorectal cancer. But however, they alone are not useful in diagnosing colorectal cancer. They are useful in knowing the burden of the disease and also to know the response to treatment. And they may be useful in follow-up of treatment, follow-up after treatment if the markers are elevated. The marker is carcinoma embryonic antigen, serum CEA. The upper limit is usually 5 and if the patient has, if a patient has elevated CEA, there could be an index of suspicion that person has colorectal cancer. But standalone, it's not diagnostic of colorectal cancer. The diagnostic test is tissue biopsy. And imaging is used not to diagnose colorectal cancer, but to stage the colorectal cancer. The commonly employed test to stage colorectal cancer is CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis with contrast. It can give us a clue where the tumor is located and also to some extent it will tell us about the lymph nodes uh, which are involved in colorectal cancer and it's a very good modality to image the liver because the most common site of metastasis from colorectal cancer is liver and the liver can be imaged by CT scan of the abdomen with contrast. Sometimes we do you, uh, use PET CT scan it is a, which is a one-stop staging investigation to stage colorectal cancer. But if the CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis is normal, 
we don't have to do a PET CT scan in staging of colorectal cancer. Rectal cancers behave in a little different manner when compared to large bowel cancer, where MRI of the pelvis is very useful to know the tumor status and the nodal status and the extension of the tumor. So MRI of pelvis with contrast is the gold standard investigation to know the pre-op staging and also to guide the further treatment in rectal cancers. So if a person has unexplained weight loss, alternating constipation and diarrhea, or bleeding per rectum, unexplained anemia, and vague abdominal discomfort, there could be a suspicion of colorectal cancer. And this person should undergo a colonoscopy to diagnose colorectal cancer, and biopsy is the gold standard to diagnose colorectal cancer. Tumor markers may be useful in detect in knowing the burden of the disease and also in follow-up of colorectal cancer patients after treatment. And the treatment depends on the location of the tumor, the stage of the cancer, and also the performance status of the patient and the comorbid conditions of the patient. So this is in brief about the symptoms and signs of colorectal cancer and how we diagnose and stage colorectal cancer. Thank you.